right, everyone, welcome to today's special master class. You're going to get three steps to creating social media content that engages so that you get more conversations and signups. The whole purpose of social media is not to watch cash videos or not to sign up people. If you are talking about real focus, the real goal is to potentially create a conversation. And of course, that will uh, lead to signups, lead to new people joining your team. So I'm excited. We're going to go for about like an hour. I will also take some Q&A. And, uh, be, and this is recorded, so it will be uh, the recording will be sent to you after this is over. Um, so why don't you all let me know where are you dialing in from? That would be helpful. Where are you dialing in from? Uh, I see some friends. Angel Brooks, good to see you. You made it. Erica, Neville, great to see you there. Um, well, Gretel, good to see you. Karen Eastby, good to see you again. Maria Jones, Madupe, my friend, just right, uh, right back from Africa. Stacy, good to see you. Uh, Tony, good to see you there from Nebraska and Pennsylvania. Uh, Mimi from Ohio. Quinn from Philippines. Oh, I love my boy. I love the, my Filipino friends. And Mimi from Ohio. And all right, so let's get started. We have a lot of stuff to cover, okay? Um, this is being recorded. If you have any questions, just put it in the chat there. Um, I love uh, the chat to be interactive. And I'm actually gonna turn off my video for a little bit and I'm gonna turn it back on uh, later. Okay, and uh, anytime you have questions, just drop in a comment, let me know. Sometimes I answer the questions right away. Sometimes I save it to the end. All right, so let's start today. Uh, first of all, I wanna congratulate you all. You're a leader. So what do I mean by that? You're a leader. Because you made the decision to change, right? You have negativity sometimes. You have skepticism, right? How many of you have been skeptic, have skeptical friends, right? Drop in the one in the comment, right? Or people who not, may not necessarily support you, right? That is um, type in the two, right? But you are there. You decided to do something different, to change your life. And you are a leader already. doesn't matter how big your team is. You're a leader already. You're leading yourself, right? And I just want to remind you, you're, you made the right decision. You're an amazing profession. Um, one of the things I love about this profession is the time flexibility of my kids. Uh, people ask, what's the best part of network marketing? Is they able to make an impact and also be with, be present with your kids. Uh, this most of you know, if you follow me on social media, I'm very active with uh, youth baseball. This weekend, my youngest two just had tournaments and be able to spend time with them. And, and this is my favorite photo. It was the middle of the day, like 3 p.m. Most dads are working and we're practicing baseball, right? Be able to do that. Um, and so success will happen to you as well, but you have to do what works and you have to stay consistent. And I'm gonna share with you one of my turning points and I've mentioned this many times before, I'm gonna talk about it. People ask me, what does it take to be successful? What are the tips, what are the strategies? It really comes down to the simple online system, which is six things. Number one is leading yourself, right? Number two is selling the three C's. Number three is work that DMO. Uh, then we have, you have to be consistent and then staying connected and then purpose-driven leadership. And once I discovered this, you know, I always went from struggling for months, uh, not having any success, to building a successful team. And so once upon a time, you know, I was uh, started out, I struggled and had months of struggle, right? Oops, uh, hold on, I just need a few changes here. Months of struggle and, uh, and my aha moment was to keep, things simple, okay? Keeping things simple there. And uh, eventually build a team of online, start online building 2004, build a team over 200,000 downlines with the number one fastest growing distributor. And you know, since 2013, I've been a full-time trainer in the profession. And I still get paid a residual income for network marketing. And then I launched, a lot of you may have heard of this, the ML Nation podcast. So over 15 million downloads in the last nine years. Um, but I struggled back in 2003, right? And my aha moment was to keep things simple. And it's really, really simple. If you want to break it down, I want you to work, it's very simple, work the DMO and the DMO will work for you, right? And I'm going to talk about that. 
and all that. So let's, um, before we talk about social media, I would just want to give you an overview of what really works. And everything falls into these six things in the simple online system. Number one is to lead yourself, right? So leading yourself means to do what you don't want to do, to make sure you grow, because if you don't grow yourself, how can people follow you? Right, a good question to always ask yourself is, would you follow yourself? And why? Or why not? Right? So you have to lead yourself. You have, always have to invest in yourself to grow yourself. I think if you're on here, you know that already. Uh, but leading yourself is not just about reading the books. Hey, Matt Walburn, good to see you here. It's not just about reading the books, but it's forcing yourself to do the things that you don't want to do. Maybe it's because you're tired or maybe you're lazy, right? I highly doubt that. But more important than that is the fear. Even you got to do things you're not comfortable doing. Okay? All your dreams and goals are outside your comfort zone. Can you all write that down somewhere? All your dreams and goals are outside your comfort zone. If you are comfortable and doing it, you have achieved that already. And so what you want is something you have not achieved. Number two is you have to sell your three C's. I meant, uh, sell your three C's, basically. You don't need success for people to join, but you do need to let people know about your change in your habits, your routines, um, change maybe of a product, right? Product make you healthier, your change, your commitment, how committed you are, and how consistent you are especially working the DMO, right? So what is the DMO? These are the five things you have to do every day. Hosting three times a day. That's what we're gonna dive deeper on today. Uh, meeting new contacts, uh, sending out invites, which is approach, asking people whether they wanna take a look or not. Following up with prospects, very, very important. Follow up, fortunes that are follow up. And we did a masterclass last month about that. Um, if you missed it, let me know, email me, or message me on social media, send you the link. And then three is getting people to look at a presentation. Okay, that DMO, you gotta be consistent. It's a big part of it. Staying connected. We all lose motivation. If you ever get distracted or lose motivation, it's not your fault. It happens to everyone. Right, the way to stay can, uh, to keep motivated is to stay connected with not just your upline mentors, but attending events, connecting with people outside the industry, uh, outside your company, but in the same industry, even connecting with people outside the industry, entrepreneurs. It's very important to stay connected. If you're spending more time with people who are not in network marketing than in network marketing, then what's going to happen is you're going to be very easily get uh, changed and discouraged or distracted by other things and you're, not, you're gonna lose focus. That's why it's so important to stay connected. There's a saying, and I, that's why I, I congratulate every one of you by just being on this masterclass, you are staying connected. And then you gotta have purpose-driven leadership, right? That, if you're not driven by purpose, you can make money in the short term, but you're never gonna make long-term money because people can sense that you're just in for the money, you don't care about others. So purpose-driven leadership is very important. So. I want everyone, if you can stay to the end, I'm going to give a bonus. There's only a few of you here with a special bonus. Okay, stay to the end. Uh, it is, I'll teach you how to get this. Will be, you get a free social media audit. Well, I will get on Zoom and analyze your profile and give you immediate feedback so that you can get uh, quicker results. How many of you like that? Drop in the two. Okay, if you want that, I will let you know how to do that. If you stay to the end, okay? Um, yeah, I want to create more success stories right now. So we talked about a simple online system, talked about these six points, talked about the DMO. Yeah, a lot, a lot of you want that uh, social media audit. I'll tell you how to do it towards the end. So today we're talking about posting three times a day, part of the DMO. So here we go. Number one is stop worrying about the format. A lot of people that worry about, oh, should I do uh, TikTok? Should I do Instagram? Should I do Facebook Lives, right? Or should I do YouTube or LinkedIn, right? So I want to stop worrying about the format or how you're going to do it. 
because there are people, it doesn't matter what course or what you didn't do, they all work. But what I want you to focus, some of you were, I got to catch the latest trending audio. It doesn't matter what audio you use, if this is not happening. I want you to focus on the connection and providing value. Connection with someone and providing value, right? The reason you are all on here is because somehow you felt a connection with me or you found that the stuff I give, whether it's the podcast or my post, provide value. I'm just curious, type it in. How, how did you get on this master class? But was it because of uh, my, the podcast? Type in podcast. Was it because of my social media post? Or did I speak um, on a company Zoom? Or speak at your convention? Right? Was it because of social media? My post on Facebook. Uh, honey said post on Facebook. Stacy's from a social media. Right? So you can see, and I'm going to say, you lot to say social media. It is uh, some of your team call, right? The bullet train. It's because I provided value. Somehow there's a connection between you and I. It's providing value, right? It's not because of, oh, I did the latest trending audio. It's not, it's not the, uh, I did the coolest effect, right? And, and often I actually don't necessarily, I do focus on trending audios, but don't put so much time and attention to it because if you're just focusing on that, you're not getting it. The real value is the connection you make with someone out there who needs help. So step one is, and I, this is basically what I did, how you got your order on here, is you choose a specific target audience. So Madupe, I think this will help you out. A specific target audience. Instead of trying to create social media for everyone, think of one person you are going to help. Okay, so who is that person? Target audience, right? is the best target audience was who you were before you got started. Okay, before you got started in network marketing, who were you? Now, why is that the best target audience? So for example, like uh, Angel Brooks, right? Um, if I wanted, to, if I was just starting out, I wouldn't know how to target your target audience, but I know how to target because I, maybe I've never met people. Maybe I'm from a big city. I don't know people from different parts of the country, but I would know definitely me, who I was. We all know the person we were, right? Now, some of you may know the different types of people, but the person you know the best is who you were, right? Would you agree? Type in a three, right? Because you have went through that journey, right? And like Stacy, you went through your journey, right? You've gone through a lot of challenges before, you know that person better than anyone. So you can help that person the best, right? Some of you, if you are uh, some ladies out here, you may not be able to help a 30-year-old male or 45-year-old male, but you can definitely help someone that you work, right? Same thing for the women. You may not be able to help someone um, who's working a corporate job who's a male unmarried at 35, right? You may not be able to help that person, but you've never gone through what they're going through, right? Not just financially, but... But uh, socially, you know, um, society-wise, culturally, you may not be able to help that person. So the best target audience is who you were before you got started. So sometimes people think, well, what happened? I'm going to lose a lot of people. You're not going to lose people, right? So let me give you some misconceptions about this. Uh, let me just type it in. So some misconceptions and fears, right? So what are some fears you have? Um, I'm going to lose a lot of people. You're not going to lose a lot of people because the person you were there, trust me, there's millions and millions and millions of people just like you. All right. So there's not going to lose anyone. Um, another misconception is that I can't help that person. Right. So let me just type in these. These I think it'd be helpful. Um, I'm. I'll lose a lot of people. Right. You're not going to lose a lot of people because your target audience is tons of them. Another fear is I'm not good enough, right? That's a big one. How many of you feel I'm not good enough to help that person? Type in a four, because you have not made a million dollars yet. You have not made that much money yet, right? This is called imposter syndrome, right? I'm trying to be someone I'm not, 
right? And that is really um, false because you don't need to have that much success. You just need to be one step ahead of the person. That makes sense, Matt? Me, me, right? You don't need to be the most successful person. You just need to be one step of that person. And you can help that person, right? Because you're one step further along in the journey. If you want to say, uh, if you want to feel like I've, I've done it, I've made it, you're never going to be made it or done it. You're never going to know everything. But you are, in, for example, I'll share, I don't know everything. I'm not the most successful person, but I'm a few steps probably ahead of you, you all, right? Many, many steps ahead. But when I first started, I definitely wasn't many steps. I was just maybe one or two steps ahead of my friends. So that's all you need. You just need to be one or two steps. Okay? So those are a couple of fears. Uh, I'm going to lose out on a lot of people. You're not going to lose out on a lot of people, right? And you're definitely good enough. You just need to be one or two steps ahead. Now, the other thing is... Right? I'm going to miss out on a lot of people. Oh, everyone will be just like me. That's not true, though. If you have a target audience, just, that just means the, the content you create is targeted to one person. It does not mean that those are the only people you target. All right? So, for example, if your target audience... So, for example, for me, if my target audience is 30 to 35 uh, males who work in corporate America, that doesn't mean I'm not going to target a stay-at-home mom, right? Or someone who's a little older than me. That just means the content is geared towards one person, the target audience. But doesn't mean that's the only person you will attract. Now, most of the people you attract will be like the target audience. But doesn't mean if that's the only. It's not inclusive. Does that make sense? Right? Uh, so I'll give an example here. So as you grow, your target audience is going to evolve. But I would say most of everyone, I would say almost everyone here, your best target audience, until you get really, really kick butt in social media, is to target the person you once were. Um, so for me, that was I used to target people who used to work in corporate America. Now, as I evolved in ML Nation, my companies evolved as well. Our target audience is really, really, um, 30 to 45 year old women with children, right? Now, I know you're watching this master class live or you're watching the recording. Not every one of you here is a female between 30 to 45, correct? But somehow I still attracted you all, right? So I know Matt, you're definitely not that. Tony, you're definitely not there that uh, in that. But majority is false in that category. Okay, seven, you're definitely not in that category either, but you fall into that. Fall into that. So you don't have to worry about everyone who just be like me. You will also attract other people. When I talk about target audience, it's the type of content to write. So some things to consider, like age is the easiest way. The age, how old were you when before you got started, right? How old were you? The geography, that matters because you have uh, different cultures, Right, even in America, if you're living on the East Coast, Northeast versus Los Angeles, different cultures versus someone who lives in down South, very different cultures. Right, if you live in Canada, it's different from America. That's different from Philippines. It's different from uh, Sweden, where people in Sweden are on this call. Right, very different. So that's something to consider. Ethnicity, right? Maybe your target audience is you focus on people who are in, who are like Asian American for me, right? Or Caucasian, whatever it is, that doesn't mean, again, you're not going to track other people, but folk, that's something you can consider. And it's easy because you know that person well, your cultural norms. Like, for example, if you joke about something you do for the holidays culturally, right? Um, your target audience will be able to relate to that. Now, even geography, like uh, Angel, you're in Pennsylvania, Eastern Pennsylvania, Western Pennsylvania, totally different, right? Uh, income wise is also like how much money does this person make? Are they, you know, 30 to 100,000? Are they 50 to 250,000? That's also 
uh, range. And I would highly recommend, you know, you never, don't prejudge people. You never know who's good in network marketing. Some of you that, well, I would just want to target people who earn over 100,000 or more. Okay. But a lot of those people may not be hungry enough. Right. Well, I want people who can only afford or afford the products. The reality is everyone can afford the products. If they don't afford it, can't afford the products, it's because you haven't shown the value of those products yet and the emotional connection from those products. And so don't let that uh, hold you back. All right. So those are some things to consider. Again, the easiest way is who you were before you got started. Okay. Step two. <clears throat> Step two is list 10 problems of your target audience. What are some problems that person has? And you should know this. Why? Because you were that person. Just think of the problems you had, or you may even still have, before you got started in network marketing. What are the problems that target audience faces? Okay. Simple exercise. And then the step three is very simple. You provide solutions to those problems. Right? How many of you are here with a health company? Can I drop in a one? If you're with a health company, does your target audience have certain type of health challenges? Right? So maybe they do. And then you provide solutions to those problems. And some of you may be... Uh, if you provide a product that allows people to eat healthier, right? Maybe that's a problem because eating healthy is uh, inconvenient and it's expensive. Your solution is simple ways for them to eat healthier. So that is a nutshell, the three steps. And now I want to share something with you is to, I think most people teach this, step one, step two, step three, right? But what most people don't teach is how to emotionally really connect better with your target audience so that they really follow you, right? So how many of you, let me ask you, I'm just curious because not many of you, uh, not everyone here may have done it. You have, you know this before, the list out of problems and you provide solutions, but you're not getting the engagement on, or, on the results nor followers. Be honest and type in a five. Now you provide solutions, but you're not, the connection engagement is not there. Okay, Karen, okay, thank you for being brave for volunteer Angel, all right? Okay, so a lot of you, okay, Tabello, to, to oh, that's a cool name, Tabello, Stacy. All right, so this is the reason why, right? And after you do this, you're gonna be able to emotionally connect and get posts that have way better engagement. So this, you have to understand there's three type of problems. So most people say, listen out the problems and give the solutions. But there's three type of problems. The first type of problem, I want you to write this down. This is your biggest million dollar takeaway here. And most people do not teach this. It's an external problem. And this is the obvious problem. And I think everyone knows this, right? So if someone's not healthy they're, or they're overweight, all right, so let's lose this. Let's use this as an example because there's a lot of like weight loss companies or products to help you lose weight, right? Whether it's like supplements or shakes or or slimming teas or whatever there is, or exercise programs or eating healthier. Um, overweight or overweight, do you all agree? Type in a one, like a little overweight weight is uh being heavy, it's a problem, right? That's a common problem. So most people say, well. Give them solutions. So you give solutions while you exercise more, eat healthier, whatever, but your stuff is not really getting that much engagement. The reason why is, is your target audience has heard of that all the time, right? So for example, no money or do this is that, no time or weight gain, no energy. People have heard that. The solutions you give, it's like, they're like, duh, I know that already, okay? So it doesn't really, very rarely, gets engagement and gets really popular, right? It doesn't, build, doesn't really build that connection that well. Now, here's the one, this is the million dollar tip, there's next two type of problems. So the external is what's on the outside, right? So just say someone's overweight, that's an external problem. Person needs to lose a few pounds, right? This is the next problem where you need to talk about, is the internal problem. 
The internal problem is the motions. So wait, and then I don't want to hope I don't want to offend anyone, but wait, right? Weight problem could be guilt, embarrassment, shame. If you provide solutions to those problems, not only do you let your target audience know that you understand them, but they will be able to relate to you. Right? So how many of you uh, have had the first, let me just, let me, uh, let me think out how to phrase this. How many of you have like a problem, like a weight problem, and then because of your products, solved it? Right? Maybe by eating healthier or something, type in a two. Right? How many of you have that experience, something like that, right? Okay, so Matt, you have, Karen, you have, right? So you, you had like a weight issue, and then because of your products, you solved it, right? So instead of talking about what to do or, or eat healthy or take this product, talk about the emotions behind it. Like maybe what are some emotions like guilt, shame, embarrassment, right? Or lower confidence, low self-esteem. Talk about how you overcame that. Because when you talk about the emotions, the internal problem and how you overcame that, that's number one. Most people, most outside on the social media, most people, most people are not talking about that. And number two, when you talk about the pain and the guilt, whatever the emotions, the person will feel you have a connection with them. They feel like, wow, yeah, Matt gets me. I get this guy. He gets me. He understands me. Right. But just telling them what to do, like, oh, go take these products, go exercise more. You know, Matt doesn't get me. Karen doesn't get me. But you talk about the emotions behind it. They like, whoa, they get me. But like, how does Karen know how I think? How does she even show reading my mind? Okay, does this make sense to you all? Right. So I'm gonna give you a couple of examples here of other internal uh, problems. So this is the external problem, no money. So instead of like no money, you go start a business or save money, right? You talk about the external things. Instead, talk about the emotions, the worry and the sleepless nights. How did you overcome that? Right? No money, I'm no, no time. Instead of talking about, I start something on the side that'll make you money while you sleep or work smarter, they know that. Talk about the fear of running out of time, right? The fear of wasting their life away. The fear of missing out on the kids. Talk about how did you overcome that? How did you deal with that fear? Right? Uh, weight gain, I talk about that. Embarrassment, shame, right? guilt. How did you overcome that? How did you get your confidence back? Right? Now, when you are providing values and solutions to those internal problems, um, people will say, wow, you get, yeah, they get you. Uh, no energy. Instead of that, I'll take this energy drink or help you better. Talk about the frustrations. I don't know if you had no energy. I, I had an issue in my life where I had lower energy. I was very frustrated. Talk about the frustrations and how you overcame that. All right. Has this been helpful so far? This is your half a million dollar tip that most people don't teach. So it doesn't matter what you're doing Instagram reels or doing um, attraction marketing or whatever. Those are all good. But unless you can build this connection and really providing value, your content is worthless. Basically, it's worthless because there's so much everyone's posting billions of videos up there every day, right? You got to build that emotional connection. So that's the half a million dollar tip. The next half million dollar tip it's the third type of problem, which needs to be addressed. Again, that is, they feel like you can connect with them. This one will really make them feel like, wow, you know it. We're on the same team. It's the philosophical problem, right? The philosophical problem, it's like, what's not fair? It's based on society and the government or the social or the cultural things that are going on. In other words, what's not fair, right? If this is messed up. Right, the situation is messed up. So, what do I mean by this? Um, let me give you some examples first. If no money, the philosophical problem is okay. The, let's talk about the external problem is um, you're not making enough, right? Things are too expensive. 
Internal problem could be embarrassment, guilt, feeling bad, low self-worth. But the philosophical problem is like the economic policy makes it impossible to buy a house now. Or inflation is making things too expensive. What's the government doing? Right? Especially if some of you live in big cities. You can relate to that. No time. That's the external problem. A philosophical problem could be the internet makes you work 24-7. My boss never gives me a break. He expects me to reply back to emails at night. Or he sends me a text message. I got to reply back. No wonder I have no time. It's not fair. Drop in a two. This is makes sense. All right? Weight gain. This is so easy, a philosophical problem. It's so inconvenient to eat healthy. Right? It's it's hard. It's very expensive and inconvenient to eat healthy. Uh, but eating unhealthy, oh, you go anywhere in America, you can or in the world now, you can go find some fast food place open at 10 o'clock. Right? Or nine o'clock at night. So so inconvenient to eat healthy. What else? Um I've been watching, you know, since I was a kid, I've been watching cartoons about these sugary cereals. No wonder I I have a sugar problem, blood sugar problem. I've been eating cereal, which people thought was healthy, unhealthy for years. Right? All these processed foods that government the FDA allows and it's making us unhealthy. Or this meat that with all these hormones in it. How many of you can relate to this? Drop in the three. Right? A philosophical problem. Or no energy. I have a job and still have to raise kids. Right back then, the mom stayed home mom. Now you gotta have a job. You have two jobs. You gotta do this. You gotta right. So, the Angel, you're right. It's expensive, and the health issues down the line, absolutely, to eat un unhealthy. But it's so right now. I like talk about philosophical problem. I work long hours, and by the time I get home, I'm too tired to eat healthy. I just have no energy. It's very expensive. And all the healthy foods are closed. Health, health food stores are closed. It's just easy eating processed foods in a TV dinner. Right? And that's because the government has made us that way. Right? It's made it so easy to eat unhealthy. So that's a philosophical problem that the person has. Do you all get it? Okay. Type in a four if this makes sense. Right? Now, if you can talk about these issues, then people are like, wow, you get me. We we think alike. This is when you have that connection. But it's not just talk about eat healthier. Okay, yeah, we all know that, but you don't understand my pain. See, a lot of times people feel like, oh, yeah, you tell me to eat healthier, but you don't get me. You don't understand my pain. You don't understand my life. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't get me. When you talk about the philosophical and the internal, then person, wow, you get me. Wow, this is so good. I feel like you're speaking to you know me. I don't even know you, but you know me. This is good. Okay, last, so that's really important, those three type of problems. The last thing is, let me ask you, who would you buy from? Yeah, the weight is definitely, right? Angel, a lot of philosophical problems there. Who would you buy from? Obviously, I think everyone will buy from these girls, correct? But you know, the Girl Scouts, the product for the other guys' drink product may be way healthier than the Girl Scout products, that which tells you it has nothing to do with the products because those those are Girl Scout cookies. If you ever had them, they are definitely not healthy for you, right? But you will buy from them uh, because it's not about the product; it's about the girl. You're buying from the girls, right? You like the girls. So people buy, and this is why social the profile is important. People buy from those that they know, like, and trust. If you look at this, you'll definitely know and you like and you probably trust them. You may not know these girls, but you like them and you trust them. All right. Well, this guy you don't know, you don't like, and you definitely probably not going to trust him. Even though he may have a better product. So people buy from people they know, like, and trust. So let people get to know you. How do you let the, how do you let them get to know you? Uh, share your family. If I click on your profile, I don't feel like they know you, right? 
then why would they trust you? And you got to trust people by sharing your family because how can you expect someone to trust you and buy from you or join your team and give you your credit card to join your team if you don't trust them first? And you're a total stranger. So sharing your family, right? Uh, post about your interests. What do you like to do? Who are you as a person? Be vulnerable. It can't be just all perfect. It can't just be a highlight reel. If you're not that good, your pictures are not that good, that's fine. But you make better and better. No one starts out great. But be vulnerable, which means be afraid to admit your, admit your mistakes. Right? But you already share a challenge, but you always end on a positive. Whether you're sharing a mistake or something that didn't go well, always end on a positive. Right? And you can easily do that by talking about great being gratitude or also the lesson you learned. Okay? It's important. So you can have the worst photo with, or you had the worst day, but you can say, what's the thing that you're grateful for? Or what's the lesson that you learned? And let people know who you are. And um, again, focus on the connection and providing value. Right, so I want to give you a couple of quick examples here. These are examples from members of my consistency champions. So we have a, I know we have a couple of consistency champions here. Uh, Budupe is one, and uh, Stacy just got started. So these are people who are getting results. Sean Smith, you can go follow him. Right now, these are people I specifically highlighted. They're not earning a million dollars. They're not earning six figures, but they're getting results. Uh, they're part of my coaching group, Consistency Champions, and they get results, okay? If you click on Sean, you, you immediately feel you get to know who he is, right? He's sharing his daughter, his family. Uh, it, it was his anniversary, like an hour, like a day ago. And he recently, while he was traveling, I'm super proud of him, got 1,895 customers, okay? 529 security systems in 44 months. Since you're doing this, so about like four years doing a part time, uh, 422 customers with ID, uh, ID theft protection and more. Okay, and for part time. Now another person is uh, Chantal 14. You may have seen her. Um, I did a post with her. She had three signups last. Actually, four signups. She got one on Saturday, Friday uh, night. Uh, four signups last week from customers from random. People that barely she barely knew because of her social media. Okay, when she started working with me a couple months ago, she never had any social media. If you want, you can dig up her past and stuff. Not much, um, but people see their energy. She's always posting something giving value. Okay, again, you can see, uh, and I'm sharing this because you can follow, see the value they give. The uh, Anlo is also uh, you talk about. He actually did a book review, a live review here. Also getting not just cold market, but especially past war markets. That he would, these are his classmates who are skeptical, but they follow on social media and out of nowhere, they become customers. Okay, these are all people who earn a good part-time income, uh, one to 2,000 US a month. How many of you like to get one to 2,000 a month in your business? Okay, of course, you want to make six figures a month, right? These are making one to two thousand a month. Daryl, great to see you. Hope you're feeling better. Okay, um, his girlfriend Christine is also right posting lifestyle pictures. Uh, one of the keys is taking pictures. When they went on a week trip to Malaysia, they took three thousand photos, and videos. Okay, start training. I know you may not be good at it, but you get better and better and better at it. Because some of you are older, I know they're younger but you have to take pictures, okay? Angel, you love at least 2K. You know, everyone will love that. Start, when you click on your profile, let people feel they know you and you're providing content value, okay? Uh, by, by, by the way, value is also inspiration is value, right? Inspiration, because we talk about the external problem, the internal problem, they could be discouraged, right? Remember we talked about internal problem. Uh, discouragement, you can inspire them. Again, that's value. Irene, good morning. Okay, the, uh, out in the Philippines. The last one is Daniel. Daniel is someone who just started with me recently. 
about like six weeks ago, never did social media and start. And I'm not here to embarrass him. Embarrass him. He just started to play with Rios and take fast action and uh, me holding him accountable. He only has 12 followers. So he's really trying to figure this out, right? You see this 12? It's not like he has a million followers here. Only 12 followers. And he's only following 24. But he just did a reel today, 1,300 views. But now I'm working with Daniel, converting these to followers and the customers. Uh, even these 181, 195, you may say, well, that's not that many. But it is a lot because he's only 12 followers. But he actually has one with 4,000 views. Right? Uh, this is 1,900, almost 2,000 views. Now, the, what he does really good, and you can tell, and I think Daniel may uh, watch this replay here, not to embarrass him, he doesn't have the most pretty videos, right? Would you agree? Like he doesn't have the type of one of you agree, not the prettiest and fanciest reels, but he is very specific. And this is definitely not a pretty profile, right? But he is talking to those three type of problems we talked about. The intern, the uh, especially the internal and the philosophical problems, right? His target audience is I helped 50 plus nine to fivers, sick of the daily grind, build a monthly repeat income business with a simple online system, right? So he's sharing about that and sharing a little personal stuff. So the next time you see Daniel, he's going to have a lot, lot more followers, but his content is getting good reach. People are watching his stuff. And the consistency, he's doing one to two a day. It's going to, it's like a compound effect. It's like investing in the bank account. It's going to, he's going to blow up and take off really, really soon. So has this training been helpful? Drop into two. Okay, I wanted to give you those examples to show and definitely follow those people. So here's a recap here, right? There's three steps. Step one is choose a specific target audience. Okay, step two is list out 10 problems in your target audience. Okay, step three, provide solutions to those problems. Step, And then we talk about the three type of problems and then let people get to know who you are. I'm just curious, what was the most helpful part of this masterclass today? That your big takeaway, that you were like, wow, this is what I need to do. To do. What is the thing that you are going to take action on? Nita, what's what you what are you gonna take action on? What do you feel? Karen, what are you gonna take action on? Or something that's memorable for you? Yeah, I say internal problems to people, right? So instead of just like, I'm gonna just create another piece of content, sometimes you take time to go out there and list out the internal problems. The internal problems could be three to five. And then you're going to talk about them, right? If you look at any influencer that you follow that is good, they're very good with internal and the philosophical problems. Okay, so make sure you do that. And then don't forget, this is part of the six simple online system, right? As you lead yourself, you sell your three Cs, work the DMO, consistency, stay connected, and the purpose-driven leadership. And uh, we just had time to talk about the creating the social media content. So here's a free bonus for everyone who's watching this. I promise you, you're still here. I love the uh, participation, everyone who's still here. So you get a free social media audit for me. Okay, you will get faster results after I analyze your profile and give you immediate feedback on Zoom. So why am I doing this? Because I want testimonials, all right? I, that's what I'm building up right now. I want to focus and help you get re quick results. Um, so how do you do this? Whether we choose one of your profiles, whether you want to do Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, or or even X or YouTube. But generally, most of you are probably using Facebook, TikTok, or Instagram. I'll take a look at your content. Uh, email me, Simon at Emma Nation, um, before tomorrow. Okay, If you email me before this, I will uh, we'll set something up where I'll take a look at your profile. And then we will uh, uh, we'll set up the call. And then I'll analyze. And you can give me a Quick testimonial. All right. So, uh, any other uh, any question? Then we do Q and A time. It's my favorite.
Q&A time. You can ask me any questions you want. We have a few minutes here. All right, Angel, that's a great, thank you for sharing that. You messaged a lady today. She was dealing with a lot. I had a dealt with each thing she dealt with. So I just empathized with her and she was happy. So it seems like that's, you know, sometimes that's a great piece for social media content, right? That's a great Instagram reel, a great TikTok video, or just great image post. Just sharing how you help that person, right? Now, you may not even name that person's name, but you could uh, just say, hey, the other day I just helped out with Jane. And you can say not her real name and share that. And you may not get results right away, but you over time, you get better and better. And our, one other tip is that when you do this, in your first 30 days, don't expect any results. Right? Your goal should not be that you may get results. It's awesome. But don't expect results and don't make it your goal to get results because you may get disappointed. But instead, make it a goal to discover your style and your voice, what you like to talk about. But even if your target audience, we talk about if, you know, those 10 issues and the external problems, there's a million things you can talk about. So a lot of you, you may not like to talk about them, but there are certain things you do like to talk about, right? And that is your calling. That's what you're going to teach. That's what you're going to be helping. And the more you focus on those same, same problems over and over again, you're going to get better and better at it, all right? Um, any questions or comments from anyone? So yeah, so we, any questions, comments? Just make sure if you want to get that social media audit, just email me and uh, give me about 24 hours and I will reply back to you. Okay, but any questions? Okay, Martha, you emailed me already. Erica, okay, you emailed me already. Um, all right, Stacy. All right, everyone. Like, uh, that's it, I guess. That's fun. Okay, so the last thing I recommend, that's a favor I ask for you. If you can all do me this, that'll be really, really, really make my day. Okay, is if you can all leave a subscribe and leave a review for ML Nation Podcast. A lot of you probably listen to the podcast. We have over 822 episodes. Uh, today's episode was awesome with a seven-figure earner. If you can leave a review, subscribe, and leave a review for the podcast, it would really mean a lot. And really to lift up the profession, too. If you look at the podcast, there's a lot of negative podcasts out, like negative MLM scam or MLM, the, the dream, or these. And when you search for network marketing, they always pop up, right? It's not good for our profession. Why do you, yeah, leave MLM Nation a review. And if you get more of your team to do that, you slowly bump the other negative stuff down. Because, uh, you know, this profession is definitely not perfect, but we have a lot of good stuff out of here. And we shouldn't have, like, negative stuff pop up first. Yes, uh, Eileen, this is being recorded. I'm going to upload it, and the recording will be sent to you. Yes, so I'll upload recording. While I do that, go and subscribe to the review. Send me an email, and we'll set up the – and I'm looking forward to connecting with you on Zoom for our social media audit and look forward to helping you out. All right, everyone, God bless. Have an amazing night. And some of you in the morning in the Philippines, go out there. Remember, we're in the profession to help others. So go out there, create value, build that connection, and have a positive impact on someone's life. God bless you all.